Hey guys, David here. So what we're going to do today is have some fun with C Sharp. So what we're going to do is send WhatsApp messages using C Sharp. And we're going to do this using the Twilio API. So what that allows us to do is to be able to link to WhatsApp and to be able to send messages directly to WhatsApp and receive messages from WhatsApp. And in order to get started, you need to go on this website, Twilio website. You need to sign up, sign up for a free account and get some credentials, which you will then use to authenticate you to be able to make these API calls. Now, I've already set all this up. I'll put the link in the description so that you can go there and sign up too. And so once you've signed up, you need to come to Visual Studio. I'm, I'm using Visual Studio. 2017. So you need to come here and you need to install a NuGet package. What that allows you to do is that will then give you the ability to actually call that Twilio API. And you can install that uh, using the package manager console here. So what you want to do is once you've signed up on Twilio, just come into here, type in install package Twilio Oops, Twilio. Run that command. That will install it for you. And then it's done. It might take maybe 10, 20 seconds. But I've already done that, so I won't run that command again. And then I've got three steps here. What we want to do is get our credentials, create a message, and then log the message ID on the screen. Ooh to ensure that the message was sent successfully. So enough talking, Let, let's, let's get to the code now. So first thing I want to do is initialize the Twilio client. Twilio client done. Init, initialize. And this takes two parameters, the username and the password, which I have stored in a Twilio helper class here. I obviously can't share this on screen because these are, you know, private creden credentials. And so what you can probably do the same thing. Once you've signed up to Twilio, you'll get your details and you can use them to make the call. So the first parameter is the username, which in our case will be the account SID. And then I'll call in. And that will give me the auth token. And that's it. We're done. We're initialized. And so now we can actually build up our message. So message resource dot create. This will take three parameters, which are the two. So the person sending, the person who you are sending the message to, the from. So that's the number which the message will be coming from, and then the body, that will be the actual message. So let's do that too. Again, I'm gonna be sending it to my own personal number. So Twilio helper dot my phone number. Second parameter from, so who is this message coming from? I will make it come from the Twilio phone number that I set up on my account. Last thing we need is a body. So this is our actual message. Ooh, uh, body. Okay, so mm, what do we want this message to say? L let's just go with something simple. This is a test, test message, oh, test massage. Fair enough, test massage it is. This is a test massage with like 50 exclamation marks. And we're good to go. So actually, in fact, we need to ensure that the message has been sent successfully. So what we want to do is console.write line. So this is a console application I created. So the way I can display something on the screen is using the console.write line function. And what I want to do in here, I will want to display a message ID. 
So var message. So I'm going to read back what's returned by this create method. And I, I want to read back the SID. So that's the message ID. So when you get a message ID back, this tells you that the message was sent successfully. So message ID, I think that's it. So we'll give this a run. In fact, I'll add a console.read line in here, just so that the console doesn't close and that it stays open. You'll understand what I mean in a sec. So let's give this a spin. You can see on the right hand side here, I've got WhatsApp opened. So what we're expecting to see here is that the message should come through. The message, this is the test message, should appear on the right hand side there. So let's run this. Fingers crossed. There we go, guys. This is a test massage. You know what? Let's do it again. In fact, this time, let's put something different in here. Let's try a different body. Let's try something, having fun, sending WhatsApp messages using C sharp. Sweet. Okay, let's run that. There we go. We can see that our messages are appearing here on the WhatsApp screen. I'm obviously using WhatsApp web just so I can make it easy to demonstrate this. And yeah, there you go. You can send and receive messages using C Sharp. I, I only did the sending part. We can eventually come back maybe another time and do the other way around. So do a send and receive. But for now, yeah, I hope you like that. Thanks for watching.